In this video, we are going to install Python and PyCharm, and we are going to set up PyCharm. And this video is a beginner tutorial, so you don't need any prerequisites. So first of all, you should go to python.org, which is the official website of Python. And then you should click on this, Downloads. And here I should scroll down and here you can see these are the releases according to the latest release. And among these, for example, by the time of recording, this one is the latest version. So I click on it and then here I should scroll down and you can see here are the files. And because I'm on Windows and my system is 64 bits, so I click on this and you can see it's starting to download. So this is the file which I have downloaded, so I right click on it, and I click on run as administrator. So in this step, you should check this one at python.exe to path, which is very important. Remember to check this one. And then we press on this customize installation, and I press next. And in this step, you should define the install location, which is very important because when you install PyCharm, a file called Python Interpreter is going to be installed in this location. And you need that file, which is called Python Interpreter. For example, if you want to install an IDE such as, for example, PyCharm, you need that Python Interpreter. And you need to know the location of that Python Interpreter. So this location is very important. So suppose that I want to install my Python here, you can see in this folder. So I right click and copy this path and then I go to installation and let's select all of these and delete them and paste this path and I press install. And I should wait for the installation process and you can see while it is installing, it is creating some files and folders. So that said, you can see the setup was successful. So I click on this close and here we can see we have different files, but this one is very important, which is basically the Python interpreter, python.exe. And if you don't see these extensions, you should go to view and check this one, file name extensions, because if you don't check it, you, can, you can't see the extensions. But if you check this one, you can see the extensions as well. But this file, which is called python.exe, is the Python interpreter, which is very important. For example, if you want to install PyCharm, an IDE such as PyCharm, you need the location of this file. And now in order to verify that we have installed Python correctly, so I press Windows on my keyboard and here I search for IDLE. And you can see IDLE Python 3.12, which is the latest version which we have installed recently. So I click on it. And here I can type whatever I want. So for example, print, please like the video. So I press enter and you can see here is the output. And also if I want to create a Python file, so I should click on this file, a new file, and here I should type a piece of code. And after that, I click on file and save. And for example, suppose that I want to save that file in this location and let's call it code 01. And I press enter or press that save button. And you can see it has been saved. And this is the location of the file. And this is the name of the file. And now if I click on this run and run module, you can see here is the output. So now let's close this and once again, and let's close this as well. But let's go to this location in order to see our file. So I close this and let's go to that location. So there it is. You can see here is the file which you have created. So now in order to install PyCharm, first of all, you should go to Google and search for PyCharm download. And you can see this is the company of PyCharm, JetBrains. So I should click on this. You can see JetBrains.com, PyCharm and download. So I click on this and you will see this link. Let's accept these types of things. And here you can see the, the thing, the, fir the, the first thing that you can see is the PyCharm Professional, which is not free. So here you should scroll down and here you can see the PyCharm Community Edition, which is free. So I click on this, download. And I should wait for the downloading and you can see it's starting to download. That's it, you can see the file has been downloaded. So as you can see, this is the file which we have downloaded. So I right click on it and I click on run as administrator. So here I should press next. And remember that the install location of PyCharm is not important. The install location of Python was important, but the install location of PyCharm is not important. So you can install PyCharm wherever you want. And I press next and I don't check any of these. So I press next and once again, I press install. And here we should wait for the installation process. You can see the installation was a successful. So I click on this run PyCharm community edition and I press finish. 
then I should wait for PyCharm. So first of all, I don't want to import anything. I don't want to import any settings. So I click on this and I press OK. And in this window, I press allow access. And here we want to create a new project. So I click on this and here in this window, as you can see, this is the location of our project. You can see C users and this is my username. And you can see this is the PyCharm projects folder. And inside that folder, you're going to, ha you, you can have different projects. And you can see this is the name of that project. So for example, I want to name it, for example, Kulak. That's it. And now here I click on this previously configured interpreter. So I click on this. And here I should click on this, add interpreter, add a local interpreter. And simply I want to add an existing Python interpreter. So I click on this and I click on this. And here I should specify the path to that Python interpreter. So now if I go to that folder, so if I go to this folder, if you remember, we have installed Python in this location. So I copy this path and here I paste at this path and you can see here is the folder. So if I scroll down, you can see here is the file python.exe, which is the Python interpreter. So I click on it and I press OK. Once again, I press OK. And here we don't want PyCharm to create a welcome script. So I uncheck this one and I press create. And here we should wait for these processes. And here I press on this automatically. So we can see these processes have been finished. So let's maximize PyCharm. And first of all, let's suppose that we want to uh, create a Python file. So in order to do so, I should right click on the name of my project and I click new and new Python file. And for example, let's name it code zero one and I press enter and you can see here is our file. And for example, let's type something in it and you can see the auto completion of PyCharm. And in order to run the program, you should right click in the middle of this editor and you should click on run code 01 because code 01 is the name of our file. And now you can see here's the output. And also I can change the font size, the theme, and these types of things as well. So I click on this and I click on settings. And here you can see the settings has different sections. So for example, let's close this. You can see it has different sections. If I click on this appearance and behavior, and appearance, you can see here we have the theme which you can change it if you want, you can change it. So for example, I want to change it to this one. And also let's go to editor and font. And I want to change, for example, the font size to, for example, 28 and I press okay. And you can see the font size and the theme have changed. And now if I right click on this file code 01.py and if I right click on it, and for example, open it in the file explorer. You can see here is our file. And as you can see, this is the path to our project. You can see the name of our project is Kulak. And inside that, we have a file called code01, which is our code. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.